everyone and welcome back to another reading vlog. So in this vlog, I, it's me from the future if you didn't know that, uh, I read The Great Gatsby which will become obvious uh, as time goes by and I'll also be going out on lots of walkies as well. I just call them walkies because when you own dogs they're not walks, they're walkies. I don't have any dogs here though which is very sad. We're going to go into some nature, it's going to be a bit dark and dingy to start with but then the second day is very nice and very sunny and beautiful. So yeah stick around for some pretty scenes and if you want to hear what I've got to say about The Great Gatsby. See you later. <laughs> So I thought I'd just check in with you with The Great Gatsby. So when I read this for the first time when I was, I don't know how old I was, 16, 17, um, yeah, like I said before, I wasn't interested, I thought, mm, it's a book, whatever. First of all, reading this now, I'm thinking, whoa, whoa, whoa. I was completely wrong. This is a very good book. The, I think the main thing I like at the moment is the descriptions and the style. It's very beautiful. Uh, it's very intricate. So Nick as a character, I think he's a very good writer, let's just say. An excellent writer. Um, and I really enjoy the characterization as well. Like Gatsby is seen as this kind of strange, elusive kind of man, which is interesting as well. Um, and it's interesting to see all the little perceptions people have of Gatsby. So I'm currently like halfway through or so, and so far it's a five stars. The thing is, I know I studied this for A-level, but I can't really remember what happens in the end. I mean, I think I know what happens in the end, um, but I'm not entirely sure. And another thing is that I thought Daisy was a, quite a prominent character in this, but I'm halfway through. She's been in it, you know, a few times, but she's not really as prominent as what I remember. So, yes, interesting nonetheless. And also, I don't know if you, do you like this cover? Is this a nice cover? I don't know. Um, so, yeah, I'm just, I've just been reading that, and now I think I'm going to watch some booktube. Um, so, yeah. You can't see this. The lighting is awful in here. Well, it's not awful, it's just the camera doesn't know what to heck and do with itself. Uh, but yeah, gonna watch some booktube now. Uh, yeah, lighters.
Hello. It's the next day, which you can probably tell since it's light outside. Uh, I still haven't finished The Great Gatsby, which isn't that great considering it's quite a short book. But that's what I'm going to be doing today, reading this, and I'm not sure what other plans I have. We'll see what happens. <laughs> So I just finished The Great Gatsby. I mean, it's not exactly a long read, is it? It's kind of a novella, I guess. Is it? I don't know. So, considering this is the second time I've read this, I kind of forgot everything that happened in it. So, um, the thing I thought was going to happen didn't happen, but something very similar happened. Um, you know, the bit near the end, the big famous bit near the end that's very dramatic. The second time reading this was a far better experience, I think. I think also because because I wasn't doing it for school, because I wasn't doing it for any exams, it felt like I was at ease reading it, if you know what I mean. I think my favourite thing about it is definitely the style. Um, Mick as a writer, I think, is a very good writer, but there are a few things that are keeping me from giving it a five stars. Um, I think mostly just because some of the descriptions aren't as aren't as clear as I'd hoped them to be. So there are some things that I was a bit confused about, particularly one of the big things that happens at the end. I was like, hold on, has this happened or has it not? And I just found it a bit confusing. Uh, the first two chapters as well, I found a bit difficult to visualize the setting in them. But other than that, I think it's a very good book. It's very interesting. I really like the characters. Um, there's a lot of morally grey characters in it as well. And yeah, I liked it. Also, I don't know if I like this edition very much, but whatever. It is what it is. And also, I just love the last line that it ends on. I think this is one of the best heckin' lines um, of a book. At least an ending line of a book. Shall I read it? I'll read it. So we beat on boats against the current, borne back ceaselessly into the past. Ceaselessly? Why can I not say that properly? You probably already knew that was the... Well, I don't know. Maybe you did, maybe you didn't know that was the last line. Um, but it is such a classic last line of a book, I think. 
So yeah, I don't know whether I'm going to read any more um, of Fitzgerald stuff, we'll see. Thank you for watching this video, I hope it isn't too long or too short, or I just hope it's the right amount. Does anyone care? I'm just blabbering on once again. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye!